Okay, well, that was fun. So, no sale, no sit, or I didn't sat with anybody. Um, what are you gonna do? That was an interesting situation. I got there, appointment was booked on Friday. Got there uh, on time, I was just a few minutes late. She's standing in the driveway and uh, apologizing all over herself because she really wanted to cancel the appointment because uh, on Saturday, her dad passed away. And again, remember this lady is 67 years old. Her dad passed away, left her a very large inheritance and says, I don't have any need. Um, she didn't really have a need before. I did uncover the need when I was there a little bit. And had she not uh, received this inheritance, I probably would have had a shot of writing it because uh, she does have kids. She was single, but has a daughter who's living with her. And that's who, um, that's who she would have uh, left the money to to pay off the house. Now that she's, uh, um, uh, you know, got this inheritance from her dad, she said I could pay the mortgage off and leave plenty of money to my, to my daughter. So I, I have no need. And it'd be really a waste of money to have insurance, life insurance, when I don't need life insurance because I now have this large amount of money sitting in the bank. So, I mean, again, I, you know, I, I, uh, I, I, I just got, I found it. It was, it was in the driveway, by the way. I, I, there was a Jeep in the driveway. She's 67. I realized, or I thought, um, you know, there's probably some reasonable amount of certainty that, uh, that she doesn't uh, drive a Jeep, right? So that's better. Doesn't drive a Jeep. So um, I asked her who's, you know, whose car this is. And I had, again, the ability to, to look for some, you know, like known trust uh, report with her. And I, I have a Jeep. As most of you know, I have a Jeep Rubicon. That's my toy. And, uh, and so I said, well, I was going to have fun with whoever owned it because I have a Jeep too. And we got, we got in a very casual, ha uh, conversation. I've told my daughter to sell it, all these kind of things. And so, you know, uh, but she wasn't having anything of it. She was in the driveway, has no knees, sees no reason to have it because she's going to pay off her mortgage and still have plenty of money left over. So the funeral's not going to fall on her daughter's, uh, daughter, uh, daughter's wallet. In fact, she's going to get an inheritance. So, uh, no sale tonight going home and getting back on the phones and book up tomorrow. Talk to you soon. Again, this is update for uh, April, what is it? Uh, I'm sorry, May, actually, May, uh, is it May 3rd? I think it's May 3rd, yes, because tomorrow's May 4th. So May 3rd, no sale, but again, what was my mistake here? I only had one appointment, it wasn't really a mistake, it's the only time that she could meet. I wanted to put her on my normal run date and that's gonna happen. And I got her to commit to Monday, so I went out there. So that's what ended me, that's, that's what put me in that position, which is a losing position for all of us, where I went out with one appointment, um, drove a half hour, no big deal. I enjoyed the drive anyways. Uh, but have no, have nowhere, nowhere else to go because I, I didn't uh, have the time to book any more appointments uh, to put around this appointment so I wouldn't be in this situation where I'm going home, home empty-handed. But hey, it all, it all comes out in the wash and it's a law of large numbers and so tomorrow's another day. Bye-bye.